This is uh, take two as a computer problem, so I wonder why the devil does not want this information to get out. When I'm watching movies, doing nothing on my computer is fine, but when I'm speaking the truth, I just have these all all these problems here. But it is it's all good because God's God's truth is providential. The devil can do what he, whatever he wants. He can't stop the truth, and he knows it. Part one was about uh, secular truth in the world. Uh, it's really biblical, and it's taken from the Bible. I proved that in my first video, spiritual, uh, secular truth is really biblical. This one is start from the Bible, directly from the Bible. We read in the Bible, secular sayings we have and things and signs that they got from the Bible, but they want to lie and say, no, the Bible got it from us. When it's, this book is 2,000 years old, when it's impossible for science to take it from the Bible, when there was no science back then. So... That's what this video is about. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to get right to it. <clears throat> Go to my King James Bible app. I'm just going to read scripture, scripture, point out which which is scientific, which are scientific facts, and which are everyday facts we hold to be true. That atheists steal from the Bible, where they don't even know it. And the devil says, "No, no, that, that's 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 from man. That's not from the Bible. No, it's from the Bible." This, this video should be called Give Bible the Credit, which I'll probably call it. Give the King James Bible the credit it deserves. <clears throat> Go to Genesis 1-3. God said, Let there be light. Mm -hmm. Trying to close, shut the door, close the door, lock the door, so I won't get no interruptions again. <clears throat> Because, like I said, things happen when always when I'm doing these videos. Just, just random coincidence. Of course, the Bible says nothing's a coincidence. It's just God's testing you, saying, oh, is he really committed to do this? And then we send, we mess up his computer and see if he really start over. Uh, see how, how if he's really stand fast in the faith. Let me uh, make, make someone come into his room and interrupt. See how, if he's really, really willing and diligent, Diligently serving me, as the Bible says, I am. That's why I'm doing this video again. Uh, Genesis one three. God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. And God spoke to the universe into existence. The ninety nine point nine uh, empty space, uh, where most matter, all matter consists of. It's called the matrix of all matter. That's what Max Planck, the theoretical Noel. Nobel Peace Prize physicist says, and God spoke everything to existence. You know, word. What's another name for word, which would would relate to frequency? Frequency and word and word are relational to each other. Well, of course, I, there was a movie called Frequency, by the way. I wonder what that's about. Word means frequency. You know, universe means spoken sentence. You know, like a music verse. Like, uh, I'm, a, I'm a song writer, I'm writing a verse down. Those are my words. Well, the universe are God's words. But you're looking around in my room are God's words. Okay? The Bible is God's words. Another one, another name for word is frequency. Universe is spoken sentence. You live in a spoken sentence. Matter is God's words. Better give him the credit. You're going to give him the credit anyways. Every knee shall bow. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord. So you're going to give him the credit anyways. Genesis 2, Genesis 2, verse 22. And the rib which the Lord hath taken from Adam brought, un, uh, brought uh, made him. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from Adam made he a woman and brought her unto the man. That's, the way, that's where we got the name woman from, the womb of a man. If you ever wonder why we call a woman, woman. Womb man, they just dropped the B. Do you know out of every rib in the man's rib cage, the bottom one's the only one that can grow back? Similar to the rib that God broke from Adam to uh, make Eve out of. There's, your bones cannot just grow back. I can't just, can't just cut off my arm and just grow back. But the, that rib... Underneath rib can, according to scientists. Now I haven't researched myself. I don't know, but that's what scientists are saying, not me. 
just going to read it one by one why the Bible is still relevant, why you need to give it the credit. Why do uh, women go through pain in childbirth? Well, just a guess, being sarcastic. The Bible says it. Because Eve is in the tr Eve is the one that transgressed. Remember, Adam did not. Adam's sin was eating the apple, but the deception wasn't Adam. Adam knew better. He was the man. The woman is the weaker vessel. Sorry, all you women. That's what the Bible is calling you, weaker vessel. So then God punished the women with the pain of childbirth. Genesis 3.16, And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Thou In and and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Why does pain in childbirth? Sin. Sin is Eve was in the transgression. But the Bible's irrelevant, right? No. The Bible's not relevant today. It has nothing to do today. Why does... Uh, why do, you, do farmers need to farm for food? From the Bible. Genesis 3.17 And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. And hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. Hmm, that sounds like feminism. Because, Adam, you did what your wife did. And you didn't become a man and said, Go, Lord, go ahead and kill her. I'm not eating an apple. Feminism. This is why every Christian should be against feminism. 100% because feminism is the cause of, cause of the fall of man. This is what the Bible says, not me. Genesis 3.17, And unto Adam, Because thou hast hearkened unto thy wife, because you listened to your wife, this is what I'm going to do. In eating of that tree, which I command you not to, thou shalt not eat of it, curses the ground for thy sake. God cursed the ground for thy sake. You eating from the apple, Adam? I'm going to curse the ground. Now, you want food? Work for it. That's why the Bible says he should not work, shall not eat. Okay? Everybody has a curse separately. Man has a curse entirely. God hands his curses separately. The woman has the curse of childbirth and being subordinate to the man. Because of her, Adam made that because of his wife, feminism. So you're subordinate to the man. That's what the Bible says, not me. For thou curse the ground. Now you gotta work for your living farmers. Okay? From the Bible. You like going on cruise ships? Uh -huh. Cruise ships are such extraordinary piece of ingenuity. Where do we got that from? The Bible. Genesis 6.15, when he told Noah how to build the ark. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, and the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. Length, length with height. Cruise ships from the Bible. Well, of course, they're not going to tell you that. They are going to steal from the Bible. Okay, 2,000-year-old book. They make cruise ships, but they're not going to tell you how they, how, how they thought of building cruise ships. Ships in general. Large ships on the on the water, like the Titanic. When they say God himself cannot sink this ship, that's what they said. He sunk it. Blaspheme God. Go ahead. God's a consuming fire. Do not play with fire. There's a secular term right there. Do not play with fire. You're caught in hell's kitchen. Don't play with fire. They got that from the Bible. God is a consuming fire. Not the devil. God is. He's gonna not gonna rule hell. He's not gonna rule hell. He's gonna burn it in like everybody else. All you evolutionists, atheists, if there's no God, that means you're an animal, you're not a man. Genesis 7.22 All in those whose nostrils are, was the breath of life of all that was in the dry land and died. Animals uh, seem alive not because they have a soul but because they have a breath that God blew them. A spirit. Spirit of life. The Holy Ghost Spirit. That's why they're alive. But they have no soul. So by definition you're not, even though you have the same spirit as animals, you're more than just a spirit of life in you. God blew the spirit. That spirit became a living soul. That's in Genesis. God is three in one. So are you. God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So are you. You either have a spirit of the Antichrist, if you're unsaved, or a spirit of God, the spirit of truth, Holy Ghost. You have a flesh and you have a soul. Three in one, one in three, like God. <clears throat> Genesis 9.13. Oh, the Bible's not scientific. Huh? Don't worry. These verses are going to cover that. It is scientific. 
Genesis 9.13 speaks about a rainbow. I, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Do you know animals cannot see rainbows? You know that? The way their eyes are, they cannot they cannot refract the light, bend the light, so you say. Uh, the, the photons does not uh, penetrate and, and refract, and they're like us, for us to see a rainbow. Only man can see rainbows, not animals. Well, of course, it's not made for animals. God just said it's a covenant between him, the men and the earth, not the animals in the earth. Only man can see rainbows. That's a scientific fact. Animals cannot see rainbows. Only man. Why? Because God want, God will show you what he wants you to see. That's for between man and the earth. About to get real, about to upset a lot of people here. Tough. I am for peace, but when I speak, it's meant for war. Why? Why? Out of every race, the black race are subordinate. They're always slaves. They're always the servants. Curse of Canaan. Oh, you believe that? Absolutely, because it's in the Bible. Most, a lot of saved Christians went, well, avoid this like the black plague, like it's a rattlesnake, like it's Ebola. Genesis 9.25. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall be unto his brethren. Me, me say it in layman terms. Blacks are subordinate. Race. Sorry, you got a problem? That's what God says. And throughout history, that is the case. Oh yeah, there has been some white slaves, but predominantly blacks. Okay? Curse of Canaan. That's from God. I'm black, by the way. If I was white, you guys would probably say I'm a racist, but I'm black, I'm an Uncle Tom. So either way, I'm going to get criticism. That's okay. Uh, I speak the, I do my father's will, not you. I please my father. Rather please God than seek the praise of men. I'm not a man pleaser. Curse be curse of Canaan. God said, okay, you, came, you killed your brother, Canaan? Curse your descendants from here on now. They will be slaves. Cur Remember, God cursed man. We gave man separate curses. Curse from women. Remember, God's not a God gives every punishment to whoever deserves it. Get women deserves to be punished their own special way, be suborn in a man. So do black men. Why? According to what their sins of the father. You ever heard of that term? Sins of the father. You pay for your father's sins. God, God did, does not just hold the children accountable. God calls them accountable just by what their fathers did. Canaan, curse of Canaan. You probably shut the video off. I don't care. The Bible teaches biblical separation. The devil's full of miscegenation. United Nations, united everything. No. Genesis 10 5. And by these were the isles of Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families and their nations. Biblical separation. Genesis 11 1. And the whole earth was one language of one speech. God doesn't like one language, one speech, because they unite against God. Tower of Babel. Which is the European Union Tower. They look funny. They look alike. The European Tur European Union headquarters look like Tower of Babel. I wonder why. Maybe because that's what they want to unite against God. United Nations. Anything you hear of united, run away. New Age movement is a un movement of uniting all the religions. All these tall buildings we have here. The Tower of Babel, you know, the, the Burj Khalifa in, in, in Qatar. It's challenging God. We, we had a spaceship called the Challenger. It blew up. Oh, you're going to challenge God? God blew it up. Challenge that. Can't make this stuff up. Can't make this stuff up, man. Spaceship called Challenger. Who's, he, who's they challenging? God. God blew it up. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, that he will also reap. <clears throat> Genesis 11 6 and the Lord said behold the people is one and they all have one language and they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they had imagined them to do we sh nothing will be restrained that means if everybody speaks the same language everybody's the same race same land mass there's no separation they're going to unite against God this is common sense I don't know how you guys get this I, I got this when I was unsafe but yeah, absolutely, you should marry you within your own race. Prefer your own race. Jesus Christ said, salvation is of the Jews. I'm a Jew. Call the Canaanite woman a black woman. My bread is not for you, you pet dog. That's another verse that people run away from. That verse right there, where the Matthew, 
proves Jesus Christ was a bigot, sexist, and a racist. If you're not that, I doubt you're saved. I'm a racist, sexist, bigot, and proud of it. Racist, sexist, bigot, and I'm proud of it. Let's keep going here. This is why Catholics hate this verse, Genesis 9.4. But the flesh, the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, the, she shall not eat cannibalism. And when they put that blood up in the wine in transubstantiation, they think it's really, no, they know, they believe, through sorcery, which is condemned in the Bible, magic, that is the literal blood of Christ, and that's cannibalism. Thailand, they drink uh, snake's blood. That's cannibalism. Some parts of Africa, a tribesmen, they eat other people. Cannibalism. What do you think they got that from? Catholics? The cannibalists. <clears throat> Leviticus 15, 13. Fresh water cleans uh, the washes away germs. And washes clothes and bathes his flesh in one in water. Of course we know that. They didn't know it back then. Okay? Here's another thing they didn't know back then because they killed a lot of people from not knowing it back then. Bloodletting. They used to they used to uh, think that you cure people is to let the blood out of uh, the disease in the blood. So let's let the blood out. That's what barbers used to do, the barbershop, and cure them. The Bible says Leviticus fifteen, uh, Leviticus seventeen eleven, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. Don't do that. You kill them. That's how they killed George Washington, which he was really killed by a doctor on purpose by the Jesuits. Uh, Thomas Jefferson had George Washington killed. Shh, that's another story. It's another secret God revealed to me. But yeah, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Of course, we know that today. They didn't know back then. Remember, this is a 2,000 year old book. They used to blood let all the time. They killed people that way. Oh, there's demons in the blood, there's disease in the blood. We gotta let that blood go. No. Le Leviticus 19:19. 19, 19. Thou shalt not let thy, thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen coming upon thee. Hmm, mingled seed. That sounds like GMO, right? Mingle. Light with dark. You know, God's children and devil's children. Mingled seed. That's about GMO. Uh, and the Bible has nothing to do with society's irrelevance, archaic book, right? I'll keep going. Capital punishment. And ye that killeth, killeth any man shall surely be put to death. Leviticus 24, 17. Why do you think we have number one crime? Crime is rampant. We don't kill murderers. Saudi Arabia does. Their crime is very low. Switzerland. Everyone can have guns and do what they want. You know, guns as long as they used to protect their family, which is biblical. Crime rate is low. Here, crime rates through the roof. Why? Because of gun control. Why? Because they don't kill murderers. Should have read their Bible. Black death in England. You know a lot of why a lot of people died? Because they didn't read the Bible. Leviticus 13, 46. All the days wherein the plague shall be in him, shall be defiled. He is unclean. He shall dwell alone without camp. He sh there his habitation shall be. People died of Ebola and all that, and the disease back in the medieval age, because they didn't read their Bible, they didn't know they, the, the, the sick should be isolated. Well, the Bible says isolate them. It also says isolate your waste here. You know the number one cause of World War I soldiers? It wasn't enough bullets or other infantry. It was because of their own waste. They didn't know how to isolate their waste. They didn't know nothing about clean water. They didn't know about about the, the excrement, how to build latrines. They should have read their Bible. Maybe what? Maybe that's why they, sh they started to give army people Bibles, but they don't not now. Why? I wonder why. <clears throat> Where is hell? You know, hell is a physical place. Where did I got that from? The Bible and science, both. So you can't run away. 1632, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all unto them appertain unto Coral and all their goods. Earth, earth opened her mouth, Mother Earth, her. The Bible is beneath my feet. Okay, there's a YouTube video there about 
people digging, drilling in the earth and hearing people screaming. That's what they're saying, I mean. And they dig into hell. That's in the Bible. Where's the where's hell? It's a physical place. Absolutely. It's in the lower earth. The Bible says it. Scientists are saying it. Atheist scientists are saying it. Why? Because they have no excuse. That's why. They give the Bible the credit. Even if they're not. You, you give the Bible the credit just by what the Bible stands for. So you don't have to agree with the Bible. You're agreeing with the Bible even if you don't know it. Either way, you're going to give the Bible the credit. Every knee shall bow before Christ. You know, the Bible has the word matrix in it. Numbers 18, 15. Everything that opened up the matrix in all flesh. Matrix. The word matrix. Well, of course, the matrix has a lot of meanings for it. One of it is cavity, womb, birth of creation. The place where everything is formed. What is the matrix? You're looking at it. It's all this. It's this body. This is the 99.9 .9 free, empty, vibrational, empty space. It's the matrix of all matter. That's what Max Planck said, not me. The Nobel Peace Prize physicist. He's probably not even saved. And even, he had to, even he has to admit it. He got a word from free from the Bible. Oh, you shouldn't watch movies. Really? You shouldn't watch movies? The matrix? Really? Yeah. The Bible has to move. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. Yeah, I know that's a satanic movie, but eat the meat, spit out the bones. Get Garner the wheat. And throw the chaff in the unquenchable fire. Have some discernment. Bible, Matrix. It says Matrix right there. Look it up. Numbers 1815. King James Bible. Matrix. The word Matrix is in the Bible. What goes around comes around. That's not from the Bible. I hear that from time and time. That's traditions of men from the Bible. There's a movie called Numbers 23 by Jim Carrey, which has verses of scripture right at the end. Oh, well, shouldn't watch movies, really? There's nothing edifying in movies. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. You commit adultery, nine times out of ten, the spouse will kill you. Okay? That's why you should not commit adultery. Not only, even if you're atheist, because you might get killed for it. <laughs> nine times out of ten, look at these cases. Oh, how do you guys kill? How you guys shot and cheated without the man's wife? You know what they should say? His sin found him out. Shh, can't talk about sin. Psychologists, you know, psychology means study of the soul, but they will not mention that. It has nothing to do with the soul. You know, most of the psychologists they kill themselves. Why? Because they explain it in a way sin. Their sin found them out. Their profession. That's a fact. Does your sin? Does your sin find you out? What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Secular truth. Your sin will find you out. The two sides of the same coin. That's what this presentation is about. Can't run from God. Can't run from the truth. Oh, you don't want to read the Bible? Okay, I'll put it in secular beans. What goes around comes around. Oh, you read the Bible? Your sin will find you out. Either way, they are without excuse. Just keep going here. Catholics and Muslims. Why do they hate the Bible? The King James Bible. There's a lot of Bibles. Why do they hate the Why do they hate the King James Bible? Because it talks about their religion. Deuteronomy 17:3. I was a Catholic, by the way, a devout Catholic. Went to Catholic school eight years. Catholic for eight years. So I know what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about Catholics. Don't tell me. I don't know what I'm talking about. And they have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or moon, or any of the hosts of the heaven, which I have not commanded. Hmm. Sun and moon. Sun and moon. Which religion? Which religions worship the sun and the moon? But they don't want you to know that, though. Of course, uh, the Catholics are sun worshippers. The Jesuit order symbol is the symbol of the sun, sun rays. Isis, Horus, Set. That's why the Catholics worship on a Sunday. Oh, you mean if I worship on a Sunday, Satan? No, no, no. That's been telling you where you got the name from. It's from that. Nimrod is the sun, sun god. Baal, the Washington Monument. Sun God, Baal, your tie, flip, you flip your tie upside up, right side up, your tie, that's from the Roman Catholic Church, you know that? Your tie is obelisk, Baal, most of these Christian churches have obelisks, Baal, sun worship, moon, let me see, which, which religion have moon gods, wait a minute, ain't Allah, isn't Allah the moon god, yeah, what is the symbol, moon, the crescent moon is the Islamic flag symbol. They worship the sun and the moon, which God said not to worship. 
Muslims and Catholics are sun and moon worshippers. See why people hate the Bible? It's absolute truth. It speaks the truth. You like Harry Potter and Twilight? Deuteronomy 18.11 Or a charmer or a consulter of familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. A necromancer is someone that uh, plays with the dead or talks to the dead. Which Westcott and Hort were a seance. You like your, your NIV Bible with the people that published it and wrote it were necromancers. <clears throat> There's Deuteronomy 23.13 Cover up which cometh from thee, your waist, your fecal matter. Soldiers died in World War I because they didn't read their Bible. They just defecated anywhere, left it right there, they didn't cover it. They died from that, more from the, from guns. Did you know that? I didn't even know that. Should have read their Bible. Roman Catholic Church. When I was a Roman Catholic, I believe Peter was the first pope. He used the rock. Petros means rock. No, the rock is Jesus Christ. How do you know? I read my Bible. Deuteronomy 32.4. He is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right he is. The rock is Christ, not Peter. There's a rocky Maya Via. Uh, Dwayne Johnson used to call him the rock. That's blasphemous. Humanism. Man is God. Paul Pierce from the Celsius calls himself the truth. Oh, that's Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Man is God. Humanism. The worldwide religion. <clears throat> Judges 16.23 talks about Dagon, the fish god. Offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their god. You know, Friday we get it from Dagon. Friday comes from the word Frias, fish. They used to eat fish and fornicate. That comes from the Dagon, the fish god. The Pope's mitre, the hat, they lay down flat, looks like fish mouth. Oh, yeah. He's a Babylonian high priest. He worshiped Dagon, the fish god. Let's get to some. Oh, Bible's not scientific. Okay. See how you get these secular verses, secular sayings and say it's from the Bible. Like it's better to give to be, better to give and then to receive. That's from the Bible. Laughter is the best medicine. That's from the Bible. I keep going. All those sayings we grew up learning as children are all from the Bible. Back in Job, we, we thought clouds, this is science right here. We, we thought clouds had no weight. To make the weight for the winds, and he weighed the waters by measure. Clouds do have weight. Scientists got it from the Bible. But sit. But the unsaved said, no, no, no. Man thought of this, not God. Man is God. He got it from the Bible. Clouds have weight. By the breath of God, frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straight. Talks about the Ice Age, Job 37.10. Let's talk about the Ice Age. Ice Age wasn't there back then, days of Job. How could it be but God? Remember, God's beyond time. He sees past, present, future all at the same time. This has to be written by God. It has to be scientifically impossible to be written by men, not influenced entirely by God. Impossible. That's scientifically impossible. Psalm 8.3, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. God's creation gives you no excuses. The wicked shall be turned to hell and all the nations that forget. God bless America. Not God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. Judgment is coming. Why? Because the Bible says so. Keep going here. Looking up scientific verses. Same Bible is not scientific. It's irrelevant. Does not apply today. Does not 
Proverbs 22, 22, rob not the poor because he is poor, neither oppressed the afflicted in the gate. We think taxes and health care, which I call death care, is all about robbing the poor. Taxes, death care, you name it, socialism, everybody's the same. That's robbing the poor. Communism, everything is, belongs up to the, the government. You own nothing, which you don't. You're a corporation. You don't own nothing. He, Proverbs 11, 15, He is that is surety, surety for a stranger shall smart for it. Your corporation, your surety for all caps name. Eric Phelps goes into detail about this. Eric Phelps, the Vatican assassins. You own literally, that's, that's a scientific fact. That's a literal fact. That's a legal fact. You own nothing. Just like the people in the Matrix movie when they were plugged in. They own nothing. Get that through your head. You own nothing. Okay? Everything's really of God. Oh, yeah, I don't own nothing. Everything's really of God. But even if you was an atheist, you don't believe in God, you still don't believe, you still don't own nothing. That's my point. Whether you believe in God or don't, you own nothing. That's a legal scientific fact. That's from the Bible. That's legally correct. Jordan Maxwell, unsaved person, he's not even a Christian. Even he agrees with that. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but the lying tongue is for the moment. The truth will last forever. Okay? We used to thought a lot of stupid things back in the day. The earth was held up by an elephant. A man was holding the earth. When the Bible says the earth is on, on nothing, we used to thought, think a lot of stupid things. Like when you go off the waterfall, you fall off literally of the earth, that the earth was flat, and, which the earth really is uh, a sphere. Some people go into the earth flat or not. I'll go what the Bible says the earth is a sphere. Okay, I'll go about what the Bible says. Laughter is the best medicine. That's not from the Bible, really. A merry heart doth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Laughter is medicine. Watch the movie Patch Adams with Robin Williams. And depression kills. It does dry the bones. That's a scientific fact. Bible says. Think before you speak from the Bible. Proverbs 18.13. Remember, that's a secular term. That's from the Bible. He that answers, um, answers a matter before he heareth is a folly and a shame to him. The words don't kill. Uh, actually speak louder than words. Really? The Bible would disagree. The death and life, the death and life, the power is in the tongue. Hitler, Stalin, Mao Zedong, they killed with their tongue. They spoke. Remember the power words, that vibration energy. The people, it resonated with people. It got them to kill in here. Don't tell me words don't kill. Words kill. That's a scientific statement. That's a biblical statement. The power of life and death is in the tongue. The rich ruler of rich ruler ruleth over the poor and the borrower, the borrower is servant to the lender. Of course, through the loans and, and all that, you're a slave. Slavery is debt. That's why Christ paid your sin debt to get you out of the debtor's prison called hell. He paid for your sin debt. You, you got a lot of loans. You're a slave. You're a slave to the rich. You're gonna tell me that's not true. That's also the Bible. The Bible's true. I go on and on. Ecclesiastes talk about the jet stream. I'm not gonna read all of them. High hydraulical cycle. Good documentaries. Hundred one reasons the Bible scientific. I got most of it from that. Like I said, I name names. I give credit where credit is due, whether they saved or not. Whether it be good or evil, no matter where the source is from, obey the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is truth, all truth, secular and non-secular, biblical and non-biblical. Uh, 101 reasons the Bible scientific, I got most of these from. Materialism. He that loves silver will never be satisfied with silver. He will want more silver. That's true. I used to like a lot of jewelry. I never stopped. Kept buying more jewelry, kept buying more jewelry. Oh, it's not, not relevant? Bible's not relevant for today? Yeah, absolutely. That's tested and proven. When, whoever, if you like shoes, what do you want? More shoes. Can you be satisfied? No. Want more shoes, want more shoes, want more shoes. That's true. That's true in life, true in the word. 
Bible. Where's that thing that you said the Bible is a sphere? Right here. Isaiah 40, 22. He is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. Circle. We used to thought a lot of stupid things about earth was square. Psh. Pretty stupid when you don't read your Bible. Remember, knowledge comes from God, not from you. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise knowledge. The Bible. Everything happens for a reason. That's a secular statement. That's from the Bible. Oh, Isaiah 46, 11. I purposed it. I will also do it. Everything happens for a reason. Abortion. I, Jeremiah 1, 5. Before I formed thee in the belly. That means before you... Before conception, before the sperm meets the egg, I knew thee. Okay? He's talking about Jeremiah the prophet. So what do you think? Oh, that's just the prophet. He's talking about Jeremiah. No, that's man in general. When that seed hits that, that egg, it's holy. It's of God. Boom. It's not a fetus. It's not a fetus tish. It's a living man. I'm not saying human. Human means God, man. It's a man. It's of man. Female, male. That's what. Now you see why people hate the Bible. It goes against the the rules. The rules pro abortion, pro choice. Of course, they're gonna hate the Bible. The Bible says it's, it's against abortion right here. Well, that's a conspiracy theory. You know, the Bible talks about conspiracy. When someone calls you a conspiracy theory, that's a compliment. Jeremiah eleven nine. And the Lord said unto me, a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Conspiracy theory in the Bible. Oh, your conspiracy theories. Thanks. It's biblical. Because the Jesuit conspiracy, you're in the Jesuit matrix right now. It is a conspiracy. In the Bible. Oh, that guy has a bad heart. He doesn't have a good heart. Oh, you're a good hearted man. Heart, 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 heart. He's a heart. He's a Mary in the heart. Heart. They're talking about the Bible, whether they know about, know it about it or not. The heart is deceitfully wicked, and above all things, who can know it? The root of heart is in the sin. The heart, the root of sin is in the heart. Whether it be righteousness or sin, it originates in the heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And they also built also the high places of Baal. Remember, I told you Baal. Is a sun god. High places. You mean like the Washington Monument? That's a high place. Yeah, that's an obelisk. obelisk. That's what your tie represents. The obelisk. A tie. Right side up is an obelisk. The knight. A knight is a servant of Rome. Their sword is an obelisk. The sword is like this. And they used to go like this on the opposite end. They used to pray. Because it's a... The knight's sword on the top is obelisk, on the bottom is a cross. Well, of course, a cross is a Catholic symbol. So a knight's sword, the top of the sword is the obelisk, because it's shaped like an obelisk. The bottom, you got the, you know, the guard and the handle. You put the sword upside down. They used to do this on the ground and pray. Of course, it's a cross. A cross is a Catholic symbol, which is really a Babylonian symbol. symbol. Everything starts with Babylon, ends with Rome. Every symbol here starts with Babylon, ends with Rome. Every symbol on this earth. Every one of these words, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all Babylonian, all of them. Just have Roman names, but they're all Babylonian. Earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, all of them. Babylonian. You heard of that term, sins of the father. He saw Beowulf. Now the movie talks about sins of the father. Uh, he must have read their Bible because that's what the Bible talks about. Our fathers have sinned and, and are not. We have borne their iniquities. iniquities. They sinned. We didn't, miss. we didn't sin, but we're born of their iniquities. That means we have their iniquities. Their iniquities are imputed unto us. That's why in Adam sinned. Our father, Adam, we all sinned. So God holds you responsible to get saved because you, you're a sinner just like the Romans were when they killed his, killed his son. He holds you responsible. Sins of the Father.
keep going here to see if we can find some scientific statements. All right, here we go. Pineal gland. Oh, let's, before we go there, let's talk about these Muslims with Catholics. They both have prayer beads and they all, they all repeat prayers. Don't tell me they're own because I used to be a Catholic and I went to confession. My father, when the Bible says, call no man father, my father said, the priest I'm talking about, go say five Hail Marys, six uh, active conditions in USA, blah, 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 blah. The Bible says, do not rep repeat the the vain repetitions. Do not pray like the heathen do. Well, Catholics do it all the time, Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. Okay? Muslims and Catholics do it all the time. Pineal gland. Pineal gland is it's in the back of the brain, which Catholics know all about because there's a giant statue of a pine ship cone, largest statue in the Vatican, which I don't hear no one talking about. It's a pineal gland, pine ship cone, which is the it's called the seat of the soul. That's what, which where, that's where I believe the soul is physically in. So if hell is a physical place, where's your soul physically? Pineal gland, which is in the brain. Okay, it's the, the Bible does not talk about the pineal gland. Yes, it does. Now, I'm, not, I'm just telling you that you should be aware of it. Don't mess with it. Don't open it up. New Agers love you to open it up because that's how you open the demons. I'm not saying mess around the pineal gland, open it up, do all the kundalini yoga. I'm just making you aware that you're a divine being. That's all. Matthew 6, 22, the light of the body is the eye. And therefore, the eye, thy eye be single, thy whole, body sh thy whole body shall be full of light. It talks about eye, singular. It doesn't say eyes. It's talking about the pineal gland. This is a spirit book. If you're dead, spiritually dead, you will say, no, let's talk about the eyes or allegory or something else. No, let's talk about the pineal gland right there. God made you. You don't think he knows everything about your body? Matthew 6, 22, pineal gland. Like I said, Matthew, call no man father. The Catholic priests are called father. The Pope is the father. The Pope is Papa. Father. That's where we get the name from. You love your Pope, you love your father. But the Bible says call no man father besides your biological father. Reverend, holy is thy name. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. You really think he was saved? Not if his name was Reverend. He was buried in hell. Reverend. That's why when I see a church pastors call himself Reverend, oh, I'm not going to that church. Read my Bible. Talk is cheap. Here, if you listen to rap like I used to do heavily back in my unsaved days, you hear that a lot. Yo, talk is cheap, man. Talk is cheap from the Bible. They honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Your talk is cheap, and I walk in the walk. As a Christian, everything you say, you better do. Why? Because you're judged on it. Every idle word shall be judged. So when I say something, I better hope I do it. I'm gonna, gonna. That's why I say God willing every time. God willing, I do this. God willing, that. I want to say it on my own. Because I say, okay, you're saying you're going to do this. You better do it because you're going to be judged at the judgment seat of Christ if you don't do it. So the Bible says, do not be careful you when you swear an oath. So there you go. Talk is cheap. A secular saying that's in the Bible. Took from the Bible. Oh, you're going to say, no, no, the Bible took from us. Yeah, sure. Apocalypse Horsemen. There's an X-Men movie coming out for Horseman of the Apocalypse. A woman in that movie says, oh, he got that from the Bible. Well, maybe the Bible got it from him. What a blasphemous statement. Blasphemous, blasphemy in the Bible. Are you not going to see it? No, I'm going to see it because uh, there's going to be some edification in there. Maybe it's going to tell me when, when Jesus Christ is coming. Remember, you don't think God speaks to us through his movies? You're not going to read his Bible, so he's going to speak to you through the movies. That's why, yeah, absolutely, Christians should watch movies. And go to movie theaters if they can handle it, if it's edifying. Okay, rate it's not rated R, by the way. That's another thing. Rated R movies are a whole different story. But yeah, don't tell me it's not edification there. Don't tell me I can't eat, eat the meat spit out the bones. Okay, why well, you know why am I watching the movie? Because they, they stole from the Bible. That's why I'm gonna watch the movie and um, we prove it about it. Yeah, I saw this movie X Men talking about the Bible everywhere, even though the Bible was not mentioned in that movie, King James Bible. But yeah, they talk about the Bible everything. They, they said this and that, said that. That's why I believe you should watch TV. Why? 
they steal from the Bible. You're, 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 you're commanded to reprove. Reprove what? Reprove means shine light of. Shine light of anyone that takes from the Bible and still blasphemes it. You're blaspheming the Bible? Or then why do you live by it when you don't even know about it? Why is your principles on the Bible? You enjoy your government? You know that's biblical government? You enjoy this country? You know it's founded on the Bible? You're a proud American, but you're an atheist? That makes no sense. That's like having a Christian porn star. That makes no sense. Matthew 23, 9, call no man father. Don't judge a book by its cover from the Bible. Even so ye outwardly, Matthew 23, 28, even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, outwardly ye appear righteous. But within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's the Pharisees. Don't judge a book by its cover. That goes both ways. Don't judge me by his cover. What, what does this guy know? He's he's a regular Joe. He doesn't have his degrees. I don't see it hanged up on his wall. What is his degrees? What is his PhD? What does this guy know? Don't judge your vote by his cover. I know nothing, but the God in me knows a lot. Oh, he knows it all. What I mean by a lot? The God in me knows a lot. Everything. The omniscient God is in me. Yeah, what do I know? Yeah, I don't have no degrees. I'm just a regular Joe. Not a doctor, not a theologian, but a, don't judge a book by its cover from the Bible. A rotten apple spoils the bunch from the Bible. What's the rotten apple? That can mean a lot of things, but rotten apple, when I'm applying to scripture, smite the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. Who's a shepherd? This is lowercase, lowercase s. It's not the uppercase s, which is Jesus Christ. The pastor is in the church. Let me get him into sin, like the devil does, and it will affect his congregation. Let me smite the shepherd, the preacher, get him into sin. It's going to affect his congregation. A rotten apple spoils the bunch. A little leaven leaveth the whole lump. You say that all, you atheists say all that. If you atheists say that term, a rotten apple spoils a whole bunch. That's from the Bible. You can lie and say, no, they got it from us. All you want. That's from the Bible. Give the Bible its credit. It's due. Let's keep going here. Jesus was a nationalist. If you're a Christian, you're for your own country. I'm a Cape Verdean by blood, so you know I was born in America and I'm a Cape Verdean. So it was Jesus. Jesus was a Jew, Hebrew, Jewish, Israelite. Talks about him being a nationalist right here. Salvation is of the Jews. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. House means family. Family house. House of Fernandez, that's my family. I'm from the house of Fernandez. My family. House of Israel, the nation of Israel. He's a nationalist. United we stand, divided we fall. From the Bible. The house cannot be divided against itself. Mark 3.25. I'm just going to go through this quick because... Getting up on time here. Where's the science part? That's what I'm getting to. We'll wrap it up with the how uh, science takes it from the Bible and they don't give the Bible credit. Let's get into science. Here. Science, science, science. It's Latin Hebrews. Put up with Hebrews here because Hebrews have a lot of scientific statements most of us are ignorant of. Let's go 
part in here. Let me look up the science quotes. We talking about science quotes that proves that we're in a simulation. Well, that's your interpretation. No, that's God's interpretation. Well, I know one I have on the head. I don't know where it's from. I think it's Corinthians. Things that are not seen are temporal, temporary. Things that are seen are eternal. Well, you can't see the vibration or energy. You see what it manifests in matter. You can't see it. That's eternal. That is God's word. That's a scientific statement. Hebrew says faith is a substance. Well, that sounds like it's tangible. Faith, our faith was intangible, something you can't see. No, no, according to that, faith is a substance, tangible, of uh, uh, things we hope for, for evidence of things not seen. Yes, the just shall walk by faith, not by sight. So like Neo did in the Matrix. He's beginning to believe. Yeah, that's right. That's a scientific statement. Reality is an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Albert Einstein. I don't think he was saved, but that's a biblical statement. Quantum theory is a study that reality is not real. It's all fake. I got a lot of movies to back that up. 13th Floor, Matrix, Inception. All about digital simulation. Yes, I watch movies because they illustrate my point. They got biblical themes, but the other is satanic. I'm going to garner the wheat, separate the chaff, burn it into a quenchable fire. Eat the meat, spit out the bones. So yeah, we ended with that, that the uh, Bible is a science book, but I don't doubt science is birthed out of Christian Christianity. That's a scientific fact. Um, it's a prophetic book. What's happening, Bible already said, all these earthquakes, all these. Look in the news, the news can't hide it no more. It's a prophetic book, it's a morality book too. Proverbs, Psalms, how you should act, morality. And it's a historical book. Historical book. These are not mythical figures, David and Peter, Jesus Christ. These are historical figures. Now, Jesus Christ is the son, son of God and all that. Well, historians said he was. How do you believe? You, uh, I can play your game too, atheist. I don't believe in George Washington. I don't think he existed. Well, history says he does. No. Unless you can show me video of George Washington, even that, even so, that video could, could be doctored. I don't believe in George Washington. I don't believe he existed. Do you know if we didn't take up on Socrates' disciples, if we didn't take up on their word, we Socrates would never have an existence in man. Oh, God knew he existed because he created him. But you never know Socrates really existed if it wasn't for the works of his disciples. They burned, they burned Socrates, all his works. I wonder why. Maybe because he questioned everything that Jesus Christ told you to question. Socrates questioned everything. That's why the government hated him and said, question this poison, drink it. Okay, Christian, uh, Christians should question everything but this book. Question everything in the world but this book. That's why they killed him. Socrates is a historical figure by one fact. His works survived by his disciples. Hmm. Kind of like Jesus Christ's works survived by his disciples. They burned, uh, Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD. They went there, they ransacked all the works of Jesus Christ. Can't let people know Jesus Christ exists. We gotta make believe this guy's a mythical character. Let's destroy all the historical works. But they didn't get to Josephus because he's a historian. He said Jesus Christ existed. Tacitus, a Roman historian, secular, Jesus Christ existed. So you can want to play that game? Jesus Christ is not a real figure. Well, George Washington is his. You no, know, JFK. I don't think he was a real figure. I think JFK was a, a fairy tale. I think he was an allegory. I think JFK, the story of JFK is a parable. Oh, there's a video of him. Oh, that could be. We we're up in technology here. We can uh didn't they didn't they graft uh, uh put JFK with Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump? Make Tom, uh, Tom Hanks shake JFK's hand? No, no. See I saw that movie Forrest Gump. Okay, JFK's not real, he's a hologram. Okay, it's not real. I can play that game too. Saying my Lord and Savior that died on the cross for me doesn't exist. He's a mythical figure. Well, George Washington's a mythical figure. Show me proof. Show me proof. We have to take things on by faith. That's what Christian science is all about. Science is all about. It's by faith. Your money is not real money. 
you believe money is really real because of your faith. Because <laughs> the government says so. I was in SunTrust. You know what it says? It says your money is backed by the faith of the U.S. government. That's what it said. Not. <laughs> I wish I took a picture of it and showed you. It says your money is backed by the faith of the U.S. government. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> oh, God. It can't be, can't be this simple. It is. It is, my son. It is this simple. You go by faith, whether you know it or not, atheist. There's no God, then you have the faith in you that you're God. You're your own God. You decide what's right or wrong. It's one way or the other. It's either there's a God or you're God. One way or the other. And if you're a God, you have to have faith in yourself. Everybody has faith. It's either faith in God or faith in the devil. You're saved, your faith is in God. You're unsaved, your faith is in the devil. You're saved, but you're walking in darkness, your faith is in the devil. Okay? Faith, everything's faith. It's a substance. It's tangible. I can't see it. I can't feel it. Well, the Bible just says things you can't see and feel is eternal. That's a scientific statement. Does this look like matrix code to you? I can't see the vibrational energy. Do I look like a billions, trillions of cells to you? Do I look like a cell, a nucleus, a proton, electron moving around the speed of light, which causes which causes a solidity? That's why things are solid and some things are not. Faster the vibration, the faster the swirling makes things hard, soft, uh, uh, hard. The slower it is, the slower the vibration, soft, like the bed. Prove it, prove it. I go by faith. Scientists go by faith. The just shall walk by faith. The just shall see by faith. The just shall live by faith. Your eyes deceive you. When you watch TV, you think that's moving. You think that's really movement? You're looking at frames, speed of light. Funny, when you watch, uh, when I watch someone walk in this room, they're not, they're not moving. Movement is an illusion. They go in frame by frame. It's happening so quickly, your brain puts it all together as if they're moving. I'm not moving right now. See, I know it sounds, <laughs> this is not movement. This is really like this, frame. It's going so fast. Eyes deceive you. Yeah, go go by your eyes. Eyes deceive you. There's a poison called carbon monoxide. You can't smell it, can't taste it. Nothing. It can kill you. Same thing with ricin. Can't odorless taste unless you, you tell someone about it, it's in your system. Odorless, tasteless, tasteless, it can kill you. What you can't see, view, can kill you. Like God can. What you don't know can kill you. There's, a, there's another statement. It'll be true. Don't go by your eyes. Time is coming. God's grace has mercy. Your time's almost up. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. 